Hello and welcome to another CNCJourneyman.com video. Today we're going to be making a Turner's Cube or a Machinist Cube in a spree. Okay, let's get started. First things first, we need to go to Machining, Solid Mill Traditional, Solid Mill Traditional. That'll pull up our tools. Uh, we're at the white unbounded geometry. We have that loaded up. We'll select our points and we'll need one. Our, uh, our cube is actually one inch by one inch and our biggest diameter is 0 0.908 so first we're going to need to put a point at half inch half inch so x left and right is positive at uh, 0 0.5 half inch and then negative half inch so positive half inch on the x negative half, half inch on the y apply that gives us a point now we need to select the circle click that what we'll do is we'll click and we can pull out but if you have a number pad to the right on the keyboard you can actually start typing point and our first big circle was 908 but we need to divide that by 2 okay then we'll do the second circle we'll click pull out check our diameter which is 0.66 so 0.66 divided by 2 do that again, 0.393, so click, pull out a little bit, 0.393, divided by 2, enter, and then we can do a last little one if we want, we got the 0 0.143, 143,000, so pull out a little bit, 0.143, divided by 2, enter, and there we go, that's everything. Now I like to uh, zoom to fit all, or F6 right here. Okay, now the quickest way to chain all of these circles is to go to the create features. Make sure you press escape a couple times so you're not selecting anything. Select with the right mouse button the first circle. Then you can hit just hit auto chain. See, there's chain one. Select the next circle. Hit auto chain. Next circle. Auto chain. And then the last circle and then auto chain. Okay now from here what we need to do is select the first chain go to machining solid mill traditional and then pocketing. This is, this is going to be pocketing. So here under general we're going to need a tool so what we need to do is go down here to tools and create a tool. We'll right click go to new milling tools in mill. Now our machinist cube was center drilled on all six sides and then a quarter inch drilled all the way through three times which made all six sides drilled all the way through so our tool ID is going to be 0.25 EN EM for end mill our tool number is 1 then comp register 1 colon on now center direction needs to be clockwise Initial clearance, 2 inch. Simulation cut color doesn't matter. You can pick whatever you want. I'll pick a uh, blue. Now, tool material. Oh, that doesn't matter. Okay, all these are good. Go down to holder. And our holder diameter is 0.811. Our overall length is 2.8. And then our tool length is 1.082. These are just my dimensions. Yours may vary. I go down to the shank. And we have a cylindrical shank. Our shank diameter is 0.251. And the tool length is from earlier. And the cutting length is point six on the money. Now let's go to the cutter. Um, and this needs to be changed to two point two five one. Our cutting length is six on the money. We actually have four flutes, which for the aluminum it's uh it needs to be two flutes but you know we like our four flutes. 
our shank diameter is right, and tool length is all good. And we're, we're just going to leave a comment in here. It's going to be a quarter inch end mill. Okay. Now we need to drag that up to the first slot, which is actually the only slot, and then go back to solid mill pocketing and select our tool that we just made. Okay. And now, I think we're good on general. Everything looks right. Strategy. Okay, so the first, this is the first circle. This is where we'll put the total depth from zero down. So we'll look at our chart. Total depth is 0.147. So we'll go back here. 0.147. Incremental depth, it depth is every pass and we just take off ten thousandths. Starting depth is, depth is zero. Well, the top of the part. And we'll do a full clearance. We'll do full clearance. And then our incremental depth can need to be constant. Okay. Everything looks good. Let's go to pocketing. See read taper from feature, yes. Go down to roughing. Okay, here we go. So mine was 700, and that makes that 46. Our feed rate can actually be ours is aluminum, so I mean all the way up to like 2.5, and then our Z down feed rate. That was a pretty good at 0.1, just so when it plunges. I mean, if you didn't drill, center drill, and the uh, end mill, the center out, when it goes to come down and plunge, you know, you want kind of want to plunge real slow. But besides that, our cutting strategy is climb. Our step over percentage diameter, that looks good. Stock allowance of walls, zero, it doesn't matter. Now our entry mode is plunge at point. We said plunge or er, plunge at point. Okay, and then we just want to select the point. So that's good. Now edge clearance. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, if entry fails, skip. Spiral expand, no. And exit mode. I like to do up. So it comes up and then comes back over and then it's down. Now we go to links. Check links out. So that's alright. Okay. Now here's the easy part. Press OK. That's the first one. It's going to come in there. It knows that it's a quarter inch, so it's going to get all that for you. All you have to do is select this, edit, copy. Oh, my bad. Just select the solid mill pocketing. Hold control and press C to copy. Then select the chain to chain. Hold control on the keyboard and press V to paste. And then do that for the three chain. Select it. Hold control. Press V to paste. Four chain. Select it. Hold control. Press V to paste. Now we need to go into each one of these solid mill pocketings. Doesn't seem to work. Oh, it's already too small. We didn't really need four chain. That's just in case you didn't. But if you didn't, um, center drill and uh, drill it down. So we'll just delete that chain. It doesn't matter. So we'll go to the second chain. Now, on this one, we just need to go back up to strategy. See, we've got total depth here and incremental depth and starting depth. So our starting depth for the second feature needs to be the last total depth. So starting depth should be 0.147 and then our total depth should be the new depth of 0 0.243. 0 0.243. Incremental depth still 10,000 and we're good on that. Now then we go to 
3 chain solid mill pocketing and do the same thing. Our starting depth is going to be the last one which is 0 0.243, 0 0.243 and then our total depth needs to be uh, the new one which is 0 0.347, 0.347 and our kilometer depth is still 10 thousandths. Okay and that's how you do that. Now we can put it into a, a symmetric view. See, we do the outer, then the inner, then the small. Okay. Now, if you want to, you can set up a... If you want to, you can click this little button right here, Common Machining. And then click Setup. Okay, if you want to add some stock to see what's really going on, you can select the simulation, advanced simulation button, and then click the simulation parameters. Go to solids, and for this setup, So we need, for this setup, we need type stock, create from block, our length, width, and height is all one inch. So one, one, one. Now, the start Y needs to be negative one, and the start Z needs to be negative one. And then we can hit add and OK. Now then when we run it, everything should be good. No, that's the first one, my bad. We can run all of them. There we go. And all you had to do is make sure that the cube is one inch or whatever it is squared. That way you can just edge find the left or the right or the left side of the vise and then just use a, a small parallel to push it up against it and keep flipping it and flipping it until you got all the sides done. And that was a CNC journeyman.com Turner Cube or Machinist Cube tutorial. Thank you all and have a great day.